What is indirect rule? All right, all of the above. A structure of state or local powers is allowed. The European would rule those local administrations within the state claiming ultimate power over local power structures during indirect rule. All right, now let's discuss indirect rule. So you, we, in the previous video, what we did was we explained what direct rule was, and that was basically when um, when the country colonizes over another country, they directly rule it, okay? They send in their own military forces, and uh, they provide uh, direct rules, direct law enforcement, and, you know, the Navy's dispatch, right? But here we have indirect rule, right? And this is kind of catalyzed, but when you kind of overstretch your power here, right? You you stretch it out so thin, right? So a great example would be the British Empire when they decided to uh, expand their power over the Atlantic, when they decided to colonize uh, Northeast America, you know, the 13 colonies, or right, what is now known today as the United States. So now we have indirect rule, right? It takes months for the voyage, right, from point A to point B, from homeland Britain to the United States. It takes, you know, it was roughly like two months, three months, right? So imagine you gather up 300 individuals, you dispatch them, you set up a little civilization, all right? Now that little civilization needs food, needs water, all right? You... Uh, the boat that carried them goes back to homeland England, then comes back. Guess what? That civilization could not have survived six months uh, without food and without water. All right? So you need to supply your, the individuals that you're sending out to colonize these new territories. The main reason why early white settlements survived was help was through help from the local natives. Okay? Uh, but this here, once the the early whitest uh, settlements received local native help, local native aid, you know, they told them how to, you know, how to grow. The, the land was different, so they told them what fruits were, were suitable to grow there. Um, they also, you know, how to stay warm and things like that. So they kind of took in the white settlers. Um now we have the population growing and eventually you need local law enforcement you need governors and things like that and so now you have indirect rule for forming right homeland england would act as an ultimate supreme power uh, but they would also establish a governor in charge of, uh, overseas uh, within the 13 colonies all right and that's a, it's a brief little United States history lesson. I, um, I've written a lot about it, a few hundred pages. Maybe if you want to go check it out, that's in the United States A series.